Oh my God. You have celebrities coming out. Oh, they believe in flat earth. You have athletes coming out. They believe in flat earth. Shaq reneges on what he says. Oh, it's, it was a joke. It was a joke. Sit down. Hey everyone, I'm Rachel and today on Crack Your Bible Vlog we are going to be talking about the irrelevant controversies that Christians and pseudo-Christians get caught up in that are an unprofitable waste of time. Now if you haven't already, please subscribe below and click the bell so you do get notifications on when I do put up videos. I do put them up three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So let's get into it. Now the message of the Bible isn't that dinosaurs didn't exist or that the earth is flat or that the wine at the wedding at Cana wasn't alcoholic or blah, 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 blah. That's not the good news of the gospel. The good news of the gospel is guess what? Jesus wants a relationship with you even though what you've done in your life, you, <laughs> you're a sinner, but you know what? God has made a way for you to have a personal relationship with him. And guess what? You don't have to die for your sin anymore because Jesus has made a way. That is the good news of the gospel. All of this other stuff is irrelevant. And if you want to talk about that stuff, but you're not focusing your time on ministering to others or witnessing or explaining the gospel to other people, you're wasting time. We don't have time for these irrelevant controversies that detract from the good news of the gospel. People are breaking my brain because you'll go on to any Christian YouTube channel, you'll go on to any Christian website and you'll have somebody who is ready to fight. Oh, what are your thoughts about flat earth? What do you think about flat earth? If you don't believe in flat earth, you're not a Christian. First of all, flat earth isn't a thing. Like I've listened to the arguments and I just sit there in disbelief. Like what cave did you crawl out of? In the Christian community, you have these charlatans that I've said this before, a little leaven spoils the whole badge and they'll put in a little bit of truth and then they just heap on garbage and I've seen this with certain supposed truthers like Rob Skiba he is a charlatan he's an absolute charlatan he doesn't believe in the he doesn't believe in the Trinity he says it's a heresy to believe in the Trinity he doesn't believe that Jesus is on the level of God the Father. Heretic. But now he's coming out and saying that he supports flat earth and blah 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 blah. You have to realize that there are always going to be people that call themselves Christians so that they can profit off Christians and also so that they can do the work of the devil to cause dissension within the body of Christ. Now I've seen a lot of Christians or supposed Christians saying, you know, if you don't believe in flat earth, you're not a Christian. What are your beliefs on this? And I just want to talk about the book of Titus. We're going to go over to Titus 3, 9. Titus 3, 9, let me just read it to you, says, but avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law because these are unprofitable and useless. People, we are not here to discuss whether or not the earth is flat. We're not here to have theological arguments about who wrote the book of Hebrews. We're not here to have theological arguments about whether or not Christians should be vegetarians, should church be on Saturday or Sunday, was the wedding wine at Cana, was it alcoholic or not. These arguments serve no purpose. Whether or not you believe in these things does not determine salvation. So if you have five minutes with somebody, if you have one hour with somebody and you're going to talk to them about something related to the Bible, what should you be talking about? You should be talking about the message of the gospel. 
the good news of the gospel. So if you are going online, you're talking to pastors, you're talking to fellow Christians, and the only thing that you can talk about are these garbage arguments, what are you doing? How is this winning souls? How is this preaching the good news? The good news isn't, hey everybody, you've been deceived, dinosaurs never existed. No, Jesus came on earth to say, repent, guess what, you can have a relationship with God even though you were cut off because of sin. There has been a way for you to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. That is the good news of the gospel, that we were once sinners, but now there's a way for us to have a personal relationship with God the Father. Jesus Christ mediates between God the Father and us as sinners who deserve nothing but to pay for our own sin with our life before God. That is the good news, that we can have a relationship with Jesus. And if we're not telling people about Jesus, if we're not telling people about the gospel, and instead we're focusing on this garbage, we're taking away from the message. Because I can hear people complain and fight about this stuff all day, but I don't see anybody fighting about actual doctrine, about theology, about Jesus. Like, what's the best way to witness to people? No, they want to fight over this stupid stuff. So anyway, stop breaking my brain. Get some discernment. So, oh my gosh, we are one body and we have a very limited time here on this earth. It's like that. That's how much time we have. And because we study the Bible, because we study the signs and the stars, I'm not talking about astrology, I'm talking about astronomy. Because we can see the signs in the heavens and we read the gospel, we see the things that are going on in this world, we can see that the beginning of birth pains that were talked about in Revelation are beginning to start. We don't have time to fight about nonsense. We don't have time to fight about this garbage. We don't have time for heretics. We need to preach the gospel. It's time for you to stop wasting your time on stupid stuff and learn the Bible so that you can tell other people about the gospel before it's too late for them. So anyway, I'm going to see you on Monday and we are going to be talking about Cain and Abel, the sons of Adam and Eve, and we are going to be in a new location. Surprise, surprise. So I will see you on Monday and I will talk to you later. Bye.